Oh, man, I hate Mondays. No, nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah. Grab a cold one. It's Bruise Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here's Drez and Big Nate. Bruise Day Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is a Tuesday. It's about that time that we drink beer. Have you heard the word? About the babbling bird? The surfing bird. Oh, the surfing bird. That one. Sorry, I uh, I was looking at, you know, as, as, you as I bird. do as we, we uh, go ahead and uh, open our beers and get ready to. I always like try and read and peruse the can. And you know how like with quality control label marks, like they'll have their expiration date and then who did like the quality control on it instead of like a name or a uh, uh, employee number. It says surf and bird on the bottom of the yeah. can. So that was a nice little uh, Easter egg. That's pretty sweet. Uh, it is Bruce Day Tuesday brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. As I just poured into my Cellar Six Pack glass, the Western Edge, which, as you can imagine from the name, is a West Coast style IPA from none other than Triple Crossing out of Richmond, VA. And yours is also from also Triple, Triple Crossing, Crossing. Richmond, VA. It's the uh, Falcon Smash IPA, 7% ABV, and uh, just poured it. And, uh, well, you cannot see through this. This is uh, definitely what I would call hazy. Yeah, they uh, they have a they have a good few hazy brewskis down there. I'm trying to find. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to find it. But so it's been a while now. These these beers have been sitting in the the beer fridge for a good while because this was Easter weekend when we went down to Richmond, me BB, and we met up with uh, Stephanie, who was on the show, a fellow craft beer lover, and we hit some um, some of the Richmond breweries, of course. Was this the same trip as the answer? Yeah. Well, we did. It was, I mean, I've been to the answer a couple of times, but we did go to the answer. We went to the veil, of course, and we realized, oh, we just missed it because I think it was the next weekend that the veil was doing their anniversary uh, with all the releases. And now that you have that new, uh, that new brewery location that just opened up. So I guess you're just gonna have to go back and um, yeah, and yeah. and hit Richmond again my and drink some more go delicious beer. Um, but I had never been to, and I guess they even have multiple locations of Triple Crossing. But I had never been to the you one that we went three. to. Gosh, and now I can't remember. Uh, now I got to go to the damn website to make sure I get the names of them right and stuff of which ones which. The original one is like, I think, kind of more downtown ish. And we did end up going there too because they didn't have one of the beers that she was looking for. So there's uh, Midlothian, Fulton, and Downtown. And Downtown is where we had to go to get it was some type of a gnarly barley wine that uh, gnarly barley, gnarly barley. Uh, that's that wasn't the name of the beer, but it should have been. That would have been pretty good. Um. Mm. I don't know. We obviously don't do enough uh, prep, show prep on this, so I don't have that. But we went to the Fulton location, if I'm not mistaken, which uh, was pretty awesome. It was a big open floor floor plan. They had a huge, like a uh, brick oven pizza, which if you go there, not only will you have to enjoy the delicious beer, but in my opinion, the best combo ever made: beer and pizza. And not only is the beer amazing, but man, that pizza, dude. So we got, well, also do yourself a favor because we got there a little early. We got there right when they opened at noon. Literally the first people to walk in the door. And we were, we ordered some garlic knots, which were awesome as well. And a good price point too. The pizza's a little pricier, but damn, were they worth it? Because I got, I want to say it was like, buffalo chicken mm. or something like that or maybe chicken bacon ranch or something like that but it definitely had chicken hot sauce and 
what was money. And I didn't even, I guess I didn't even really look at what all was on the pizza until it came. And I'm like, oh my gosh, fried pickles. Oh man. Yeah. Like the little thin slices, the like the yeah, fried it's pickle be the th- chips. I, I don't like the spears. The spears don't work good. It doesn't, it doesn't translate well. And, the, the ratios. And, off. and it always pull like it, yeah. the spear always pulls the bread out. And comes off. And then, but it's the same thing with onion rings. I can't do onion rings. So that was amazing as you would imagine. And I, it was really good. I don't know if it was better though than they had uh, just it was regular pe- uh, pepperoni, but they put and it's some brand I never heard of, but like some type of hot honey. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so it's like and it's like Mike's hot. Mike's honey hot something. honey is, is that exactly what it is? what it is. That's uh very first Father's Day. The the wife and and son got me a uh, bottle of that and. Uh, nintendo switch and oh, well, uh man, that's a good day yeah i'm gonna be honest with you I, I don't know which i liked more the hot honey is phenomenal it's so wow. versatile i don't yeah, i would say i don't know if you thought to put it on pepperoni pizza but damn does that work well that, i had not done that, that i didn't even sense. realize there was hot honey because that's cool i love spicy stuff and honey is one of my all-time it's favorites so I, I always like putting honey in my tea uh i mean i like honey on I'm one of those outliers that when I go to McDonald's and I get the McNuggets, I ask for straight up normal honey. I like the nuggets and the honey, dude. The salty, sweet, it's it's fantastic, and it was damn good. No, I I, I that hot honey has been a uh, staple in my life. I like to put it in the uh, the chai tea from Stash. You make a nice little spicy tea, and then you add that little extra kick. Oh, that works. And then uh, if you're not having to be productive for the next few hours, you throw some bourbon in there. Mm-hmm. Oh man, it's a hell of a beverage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit of a... But that's literally, and like, I was going through so many boxes of tea to finish that bottle of honey, but damn, was it good. Oh man. Yeah, I would. Let, I need to get my hands on some. I had totally forgot about it until we popped these beers and it brought me back to, to going to Triple Crossing and that pizza. But damn, yeah, that was phenomenal. And of course, the beer is just amazing down there. Uh, there was even a couple... Uh, sours that BB liked, if I'm not mistaken. Again, this has been a while. I almost got a T-shirt. They had a, you know, they they have. I I, I want to say Falcon Smash is kind of one of their go-to's, pretty well known. The other one is Clever Girl that has the Raptor on it. Obviously, a nod to Jurassic Park. And they had a T-shirt that was pretty damn cool. It was like a Velociraptor skull on it. And at and like in the brain portion, it had like crystals or something. So, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty clever, pretty cool. It looked cool, but I, I'd already spent a lot on pizza and beer, so <laughs> I and beer. And, and beer to go. So I was like, all right, well, I think uh, you bought that experience, and no one can take it back from you. Damn, Skippy. Now, w- with a beer like Falcon Smash, like, w- were there any like? arcade or video game or gaming options in the facility so i believe maybe one of their locations has this and i think that this one used to have that there was a back a huge back area you know this was my first time there but steph 70 had been there before and i think she said that maybe that used to have something like that but i think they turned it into sort of like an event area for bands or whatever profitable but um I go in and you got beer and Super Smash on the 64. We're uh, we're gonna have a good day. Oh, that's gonna be a day. I'll spend. You know what? I actually would probably end up spending more money too. Yeah. Like I, we'll linger at this spot for a while. Yeah. But again, I'm. You know, afterwards, I don't know if we went there immediately after. I can't remember what the order of things. But we did go to the answer, and the answer has the arcade stuff that you're looking for, and I think also a bit of a venue, as well. So. So yeah, we went there and that was delicious. Of course, we went to a couple other breweries, the Vale I already mentioned. Um, and one of which, one of the other ones that we, I think we ended the night on, I have beers from there. So we'll get to those in the next round and we can, we can talk a little bit more about that. But first, maybe we should, uh, well, and another thing, not to, triple crossing, not to be confused with triple C out of, I guess that's in Charlotte, right? Yes. I kind of get them mixed up every now and then because they're both, they both have good beer. And as you can imagine, triple crossing, triple C, that's pretty damn close. So this yeah, is. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're writing triple crossing down and you're feeling lazy or trying to exabyte things, you're going to write triple C. It, it can get confusing if you're not on top yeah. of things. So 
again, my mistake. I think I made that once or twice. I called it, maybe I accidentally called it triple C or sometimes I use them interchangeably, but I need to get better about that. It can get confusing. <laughs> Nonetheless, both have great beers. Case in point, Triple Crossings Western Edge. Now, we've been over this. West Coast styles are not my favorite. Um, East Coast, best coast. Damn right. But it's still pretty good beer. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's 6%, so pretty standard. Um, this is not, this was definitely not one I was drinking at the place. A, they had it to go, and B, it's not one I would seek out. But for what it is, pretty solid. You got the lacing you're looking for. Pretty crystal clear. The opposite of what you're over there drinking your Hazy Boy. Um, it's it's a West Coast IPA, so it's still very drinkable, but not my favorite style of IPA. So take that into consideration. It's only going to get a four, which is still a good score, but certainly not uh, anything to ride home. If you're going to Triple Crossing, there's other beers that I would enjoy. Let's just put it that way. So the the whole East Coast, West Coast thing, I, I've noticed to me when I'm drinking one of the a hazier or, or more like an Eastern Coast style IPA, I feel much more satisfied afterwards. It's kind of like a, um, when you have a fast food hamburger versus like a really like well-prepared hamburger. One's just not going to fill you up as much, and and I feel yeah, like so that's more filling. Yeah, so that I mean that's exactly what we've got here. Is like this is this is easy to savor. It's delicious. It, it's I mean, and that might just be the weight of it because like I mean, you yeah. look at this. This is more crisp and clear, easier drinker. Like it does. It feels like a lighter IPA almost. Yep. And uh, no, this this Falcon Smash is incredibly satisfying. The label is just an excellent homage to captain falcon and the legend of the super nintendo not just super smash brothers that's right there was uh your mind goes to smash brothers because smash is in the name but falcon smash supersedes that game yeah. for sure and uh well i i'm gonna go ahead give some virginia love label love video game love and uh delicious beer you're turning I'm into a five whore a... no i'm not giving a five okay okay there is an argument that could be made, but uh, four seven five, I think four seven five out of five on the untapped scale, which is how we like to rate and keep track of our beers. Feel free to follow us. Dres drinks is my handle. Nate's, oh, uh, big Nate danger. I wanted to say <laughs> Nate's beer buzz almost. I know that. <laughs> speaking of though, I do know that Huck is revamping and redoing uh, the website. So uh, I know. And he also has reached out talking about he wants to come on and do a barley wine show. I guess he's got some barley wines that he wants to have he, a try. He just misses us. He does. There's Nothing no wrong with that. No doubt about that. But uh, so hopefully we'll have Huck back on in the not so distant future. Um, but definitely uh, check out uh, the newly revamped getting getting the Huck's beer buzz back going, which is cool. Yeah, untapped. <laughs> yeah, follow us on there. By the way, Big Nate Danger or Danger Radio, I think is your right horror show horror radio. show radio jeez louise which is like a What's throwback the, to college is it danger is danger radio danger, big nate danger is your is your yeah big nate danger would be the uh the on-air handle you gotta simplify it man well i mean that comes from an old like dan Aykroyd saturday night live skit in connection with the big nate well should it be big danger nate because danger should be your middle name yeah that's mm. that's the the joke the issue there ah we digress we're gonna play a song we're gonna come back and we're gonna drink some more beers from richmond our commonwealth capital right here on 105.3 the bear stick around <laughs> 